I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira. Two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. Last week we began our journey up north and found this beautiful anchorage in the Berry Islands where we all got to stretch our legs and enjoy the clear waters of the Bahamas one last time. Hey Nat, you want to get the uh, sand off that? <laughs> oh yeah! Look at that, you can see the bottom. Clear as day and we're in 17 feet of water. This week it's time to leave Hawks Nest Cay in the Berry Islands and sail to Grand Bahama. This is only a day sail and a perfect place to stage our next crossing to the US. Oh, this is perfect in here, babe. Does it keep going round? We are in Grand Bahama, but we're actually at this enclosed area where we've actually brought the boat right down into and it's totally protected very similar to like the Miami Fort Lauderdale kind of thing right like the ICW or broad order and then this is like an old marina that they were building and then they stopped building it halfway through so you've got like two buildings here you've got a beautiful dock and then nothing <laughs> So we've um, been taking the dogs over here because it's just like an open area where they can run and it's perfect spot for staging our next passage which will be to the US. So this has actually worked out really well and we didn't know what to expect at all. It was kind of, we went in kind of blind, didn't we, into it. And the first anchorage we were going to anchor at was totally full. So we were like, oh no, you know, how are we going to be able to? And then we found this amazing spot. Looks like they're gonna be like all these apartments. And yeah, the marina kind of starts here. You can see there's a couple of old boats that are here. And the docks go all the way around. They had power stations, water. They started building a couple of these but didn't finish. And yeah, just never got completed. We don't know how long it's been like this, but. This boat's been here for almost a year. It's gonna be a big day today. A big couple of days, really. And we are heading to the United States today. Well, that's the plan. We're gonna see how the weather plays out. There was a big cold front that blew down from the north. It's past, we hope, the boat is facing the right way, which means the wind is facing the right way. 
So we're gonna leave Freeport, Grand Bahama this afternoon, I think is the plan. We'll check the wind. And then we are gonna sail around the end of Grand Bahama. And depending on how long our window is, we are gonna try and make for Beaufort, North Carolina. If we don't have a, enough of a weather window, then maybe we'll duck off at Charleston or Myrtle Beach, something like that. But that's the plan. So we'll get around Grand Bahama, we'll tuck in to the Gulf Stream and uh, ride that super highway as far north as we can get. We're pretty excited. States, here we go. We're just gonna take the doggies for a walk, drop off some last minute trash. That's it. And that's it, that's all she wrote, folks. All right, here we go. Mr. Fender. So I had a look online last night. If you want to buy this marina and this whole development, so you get three acres. So you got this land here, which has got these two buildings. There's like another three other plots. So you get four plots of land and the marina. And I think it's 1.3 million US dollars. So that's actually considerably less than what I thought. Cause this marina I think is salvageable. Um, the buildings, I don't know, but then you have all this other land you can develop. So it's pretty cool. And that and I looked at it and went, wow, if you only had the money and then I'm sure you need another 20 million to build something else. All right, anyways, here we go. One of my favorite things about this new high fields is this bow step. That is amazing. So that, from what I understand, I think that is standard on all new 2023 high fields. And it used to be like a $500 add-on or something. So that's pretty amazing by those guys. Anyways, we are walking to the beach. It's a beautiful morning, as you can see. Clint's about to eat a chicken bone, which is never good. But most importantly, as you can see, the wind and the waves are going that way, which is the direction we need to go. So that is a very good sign. It's actually come in earlier than we thought. Um, there is one concern, though, which is that it might be as a result that this wind could be getting drawn up into that, uh, that northern cold front so we will check that out when we get back and have a look more at the weather in detail but so far this is a very very good sign so what do you think then yeah right so we're just we're on predict wind here and we're just looking at the wave uh, models here the wind isn't really a problem if we look at the wind uh, it's quite light winds here on the beam but as we progress through the night and into tomorrow, you know, the wind starts funneling in behind us, it's behind us, behind us. So like, the wind isn't an issue, but the problem we have is that from that northerly that was blowing, we have all this residual swell that's still coming down from the north. So it does start to decrease. It's down to 3.6 feet in this area over the next 24 hours and then it slowly starts to dissipate and then it eventually does by Thursday come in and start working with us. But the problem I'm having at the moment is do we leave today and do the come around Grand Bahama and start bashing into six feet of waves? Or maybe what we do is we run a, a more parallel course to it, which kind of sucks. We're gonna have waves on the beam, which is not very pleasant in some respects, to get out towards the Gulf Stream as we planned, and then hopefully by tomorrow, you know, it's more to tolerable to uh, three feet. Three feet's not too bad. And then we start picking it up the day after and the day after. So the question is, do, do we delay 24 hours? and wait for better better wave conditions 
and I guess ultimately better wind, or do we push on today? So I'm going to look at a couple more forecasts. I'm going to look at GFS and see how they compare. And if they all sort of start to say the same, then we can sit down and make a decision in a bit. Yeah. So. Okay. We've been discussing this now for the last what, hour, I'd say. So I've compared all the models here in Predict Wind. Uh, that's the great thing about Predict Wind. There's so many bloody models. The wind isn't the problem. Problem is the residual swell that's left over from that cold front that's been blasting the last couple of days. So instead of leaving today and going around the corner of West End of Grand Bahama and then getting smashed by six foot of swell straight at us, we're gonna sit tight till tomorrow morning. The swell will be half the height by tomorrow and the wind will have filled in and we should have it straight up the bum and the waves will be dropping and then eventually turning over the next 12 hours. So we're going to make this a more comfortable ride for us and the doggaroos. And yeah, well, I think we'll point it into the Gulf Stream and then start heading straight for Beaufort. See how we go. That's and it. now, pancakes, pancakes. with blueberries. Oh yeah. So these are our famous blueberry pancakes. Oh, I'm so excited. So get cooking. I'm going to get, get cooking. Get right. cooking. Yo. Alright, well, it's a lovely morning here and we're about to leave. We're going to make our 500 nautical mile trip to Beaufort, North Carolina. Weather pending, we've got a bunch of jump off spots if we can't uh, get a forecast that lasts that long, but it's actually looking pretty decent. The weather forecast has strengthened in our favor. So we're ready to go. We just got to put the dingo up. And then once we've done that, we'll pull the hook and get going and we'll leave the little channel that we're in here and head around the top of West End and out and hopefully catch that Gulf Stream and rocket ourselves north. But yeah, dogs are walked. We've got coffee in our bellies, although this is my chest I just touched. And we got a little bit of homemade bread, so we're good to go. Let's get going. Each time we heal from a wave. <laughs> James, what was it? Big old barracuda. We're alongside Great Bahama still. Woo! All right, trying to make scrambled eggs for uh, a captain out there. Definitely feeling a bit queasy. If you want Nat to say Hadley any more times, just ask her in the comments. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're taking it back down. We've got the engine running. It was very short-lived. 